welcome to itsrafik in this video i am going to show you how we can hide some part of information in an excel spreadsheet and how can we use conditional formatting in spreadsheet and how to use if and else condition just uh, we can see on the internet sometimes some part of email address or phone number is hidden so how we can do that in excel first of all here you can see one table they have some column id name address phone number and email suppose here from the phone number i want to display only the first two number and the last two numbers and in between other six number i want to hide from the user means in place of that numbers user can uh, user will see only star symbols so how we can do that so first of all we will go here suppose i will display the phone number in this column so first i will write equal then i will write left left function will display the values from left side and from here I will display just two number. For that, first I will select the cell address that is D2, comma. Then how many numbers or characters I want to display? I want to display two characters, so two, bracket close, and n person symbol. n person symbol is used to combine two or more formulas together. Now, next I want to display star symbol. Means next six numbers. I want I will display the star in place of the numbers for that double quotes and six star one two three four five six double quote close again and person symbol here I will display the right hand side numbers that is four and eight for that I will write function right r i z h t bracket the cell address comma and how many numbers i want to display from right hand side i want to display only two for that reason two bracket close then enter as here you can see the user is able to see only nine eight and the last two numbers four eight and other six number only star symbols so we can copy this formula to other cells also First, bring your cursor to the corner of the cell. When it changes to a plus sign, click and drag it till down. So, all the numbers are copied. Now, I want to hide the email address also. I want only some part of the, means starting and the ending part of the email should be visible to the user. So, how we can do that? Same formula we'll use. Equal left bracket on the cell address that is e2 comma how many characters i want suppose here i want four characters four bracket close and here i want to display dot 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 or star symbols then we'll write and person and here suppose i will display only dot dot here not the and person symbol so dot 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 quotation close again and person symbol next i want to display some character from right hand side also for that i'll write right right bracket on cell address e2 comma then how many characters i want to display Suppose I want to display here 10 characters. So 10. Break it close. Enter. As here you can see, the user will see this much characters. So to copy this formula, we can drag it till down. So here are the information. Now suppose these two columns I want to hide from the audience or from the user i will display only these two columns for the first i will write the heading or header 
phone and next one is email and these two columns what I will do I will hide so right click on the column heading then select hide for email also right click select hide so here you can see the output let's put border click here and select all borders so this is the final output this output will visible to the user the user will not able to see the full uh, complete phone number or complete email address we are hiding some part of that these are mainly using so that uh, other user cannot misuse your phone number next we have one mark sheet here have uh, some student name and their marks total and percentage here I'll show you how we can use conditional formatting and if else functions to display the results here are the marks obtained by the students suppose I want to show the marks in red color who are getting less than 30 so how can we do that first we'll select the numbers from C2 till C, uh, C4 then click on conditional formatting new rule here you will select that one format only the cells that contain here select less than the value it's 30 now we'll set the rule so go to format we'll select a font color is already automatic so from here we'll select red okay click ok as here you can see the marks which are less than 30 these are automatically changed to red color let's change some other number and see suppose in place of 36 I am writing 26 so it is in red color now I want to display the results the results should be either in pass or fail if the students scored more than 30 marks the results should be pass otherwise it should display as fail and it should come automatically so how we can do that first I'll write equal then if break it on and I will select the cell with whom I want to compare the marks as I'll compare with the percentage so I will select cell H2 then greater than symbol equal to I will write the number with which number I uh, am comparing I am comparing with 30 so I write 30 comma the true value what I want to display if the condition is true means if the mark is more than 30 or equal to 30 one then what I want to display then I want to display result is pass so I'll write within double quotes pass double quotes close comma now if the condition is false if the marks is less than 30 then what it should display so I want to display as fail so again I will write double quotes F A I L double quotes close and the bracket close that bracket is uh, if bracket then hit enter button so as your percentage is 72 so the result is displayed as pass we can copy the formula to other cell also as well so I will first go to the corner of the cell when the pointer changes to plus sign I'll drag it down so second one percentage is 50 pass third one percentage is 23 so it's displayed as fail now let's copy the formulas to next cell first put borders to next two cells go here and select all borders 
and let's copy the formula here I am viewing only 0 0 because other cells doesn't have any values that's why answer is only zeros and results also fail because other cells are empty now let's enter number 4 suppose name is Divya marks 44 28 66 89 56 see the results automatically changes to pass next cell number a6 let's roll number is 5 name ria marks 22 25 28 42 so percentage is 29.25 result fail now next two rows which subject the student scored less than 30 marks these are displayed in black color only but it should display as red why this is not displaying because while I am setting the conditional formatting then I selected the cells only from I selected only these cells that's why last two are last two rows are not displaying for that what we can do I will go to conditional formatting and manage rules we have select the cells conditional formatting manage rules we have these rules here we have rules from c2 till f4 so our now last cell address is f6 so in place of 4 i will just write 6 apply ok now see the last two rows color also changed to red so this way we can set conditional formatting in ms excel for more excel tricks keep visiting thank you for watching have a nice day